NoDQ.com. 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 Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to episode number 953 of No DQ Video here on the YouTube channel. This is the YouTube version, which is not the full length version. Head over to NoDQ.com if you would like to watch the full version, and I highly recommend it. I got a lot to say today. I got a lot to talk about, a lot to analyze. Head over to NoDQ.com to watch the full version. I will also post a direct link in the description box. Please check it out. I do appreciate those of you that head over to NoDQ.com and watch the full version. But if you're unable to do so for whatever reason, we got the short version here. Let's get down to your questions. First question comes from Matt Frost. If the WWE were to bring The Rock back for another match in, could you see him facing Roman Reigns? That is an interesting question. When I look at potential opponents for The Rock, if The Rock was to come back for one more match, who would be the ideal opponent? You would think The Rock would go up against the biggest star of this current era. Yeah, you could do The Rock versus Batista, bring back Batista for one more match, but I think most fans would like to see The Rock against the biggest star in WWE right now and love him or hate him. That guy is Roman Reigns. You could do The Rock versus Kevin Owens. You could do The Rock versus AJ Styles. But I think, storyline-wise, it would be the most interesting to do Roman Reigns versus The Rock. The fact that they have the family history together. The Rock was there at the Royal Rumble raising Roman's hand. They're Samoan. I just think that that dynamic would be the most compelling for WrestleMania. And like I said, Roman Reigns, he's not the bad guy, he's not the good guy, he's the guy. He's the guy that WWE is pushing to the top. I think that that match would have the most heat, and it would be an entertaining match. I, I think it would definitely be the match to do if The Rock is going to come back for one more match. Now, will The Rock be back? That remains to be seen. It's really up in the air right now because The Rock has a very busy schedule. He's one of the most successful actors in Hollywood, I believe the highest grossing in 2016. He's got a lot on his plate. But if there's the opportunity for The Rock to come back and the timing is right, I could definitely see The Rock doing one more match. And if he's going to come back one more match, you either go big or you go home. And I say you do Roman Reigns versus The Rock at WrestleMania if The Rock is coming back. This one comes from, not going to say that name, Fuvana37. Is Roman Reigns going to have to die in the ring to get anyone to care about him at all? WWE can do whatever they want with Roman Reigns. I think unless they actually change the character into something different, I think fans are going to continue to react to him in a negative way. Maybe with strong enough booking, WWE can make Roman Reigns sympathetic, but my feeling is the damage has already been done and the fans will continue to resent Reigns for the rest of his career. At least there will always be this portion of the audience that does not approve of the Roman Reigns character being booked like Superman. Maybe WWE's attitude is by having Reigns look weak in some ways, having him lose to Braun Strowman and having him get beat up, maybe the fans will be more sympathetic. But then again, those fans, they're the smart fans. They're the ones that know that in the end, Reigns is going to look stronger than ever. When this is all said and done, it's going to be Reigns on top for many years to come. These fans see the future. They know what WWE has planned long term for Reigns. Reigns is going to be the guy the company is built around. Love him or hate him. But if those fans are so smart, why are they still watching? Because they're passionate about the product. They want to see the product get better. They know WWE is capable of doing better. And there's a lot of frustration, but people continue to support it. 
When I look at the landscape of WWE over the next several years, I think it's going to be more of the same. Business as usual, and I doubt anything's going to change. So, is there anything that can be done to get fans cheering Roman Reigns? Yes, but I doubt WWE is going to do what it takes to get the fans that are booing him right now to all of a sudden cheer for him. WWE feels they have something working right now, and they're going to keep doing it. This one comes from Ash. How long before we see Nakamura with the WWE title, and would you have him hold it for as long as AJ? Interesting question. One would think that at some point, Shinsuke Nakamura will be the WWE champion. They are building him up as one of the star attractions of SmackDown right now. Will his momentum continue? That is still a question mark. There are some fans, some people speculating that WWE might screw up Nakamura. Already they have him with this new nickname, The Artist, which I do not think is going to make a difference one way or another, but will it hurt him in the long run? That remains to be seen. Will WWE take it to the next level? Will they do something really different with his character and try to change things up to the point where fans start to lose interest in him. It's hard to say right now, but if Nakamura can keep the momentum going that he's had in WWE and NXT and the momentum he had in Japan, then I would say it's inevitable that he ends up as WWE Champion. The cream always rises to the top, and if, if he is able to sustain the momentum and the company doesn't ruin him completely with the booking, then yeah, I, I'll say that he will be WWE Champion maybe a year, maybe two years down the line. I mean, he's not hes not getting any younger. He's already getting up there years-wise, so I, I would think if you're going to do it, you pull the trigger relatively soon. So I would say if it does happen, it'll happen in the next year or two.